President Barack Obama has found his way to another victory as you decide 2012. He defeated Republican nominee Mitt Romney last night. And Fox's Nicole Collins joins us live from Washington, D.C. this morning with more. Good morning, Nicole. Hey, good morning, Pete and Rachel. Yeah, the president securing a second term now with more than 300 electoral college votes thanks to key victories in swing states like Ohio, Virginia, Colorado. In fact, uh, Mitt Romney only won one of those hotly contested states, North Carolina. And at this hour, Florida still not called. A very tight race down there. But as it stands, even if Mitt Romney did win Florida, it wouldn't make a difference in the end. So uh, it's doubtful we'll see any sort of intense action legal action down in that state guys. Nicole what's the day today going to be like for the two of them? That's a very good question, and I haven't been able to get much on that about Mitt Romney. The only bit of color I can I can give you there is that uh, one of my colleagues at Fox, another uh, correspondent, did speak to one of his surrogates during the debate and said, what happens? What does Mitt Romney do? How does he feel if he loses the election? And the surrogate said, well, he feel, he'll feel liberated. So at least there's some positive spin there for someone who's probably having a tough day. As for the president, uh, he'll head back to D.C. from Chicago this morning. Uh, Vice President Joe Biden heads back to Delaware and Paul Ryan, uh, the Republican VP running mate you guys are all very familiar with, again, um, taking his seat in Congress again as he won in your state, of course, and I'm sure he'll be championing, championing some budget issues uh, in this next four years that President Obama uh, will head in the White House. You were alluding to the fact that there probably won't be any kind of uh, legal challenges or anything, So, but there were some problems in, in some areas, right, Nicole? Yeah, certain certain states had problems with voter ID laws, uh, voter ID issues, and, and perhaps we could still see some legal issues just based on those laws and people wanting to see them changed or not changed. Um, and also in New Jersey and New York, uh, it, some people were talking about perhaps seeing some legal action out there because voters felt disenfranchised. But again, those states went to Barack Obama. So I think we won't see any legal action had they gone uh, to Mitt Romney, uh, perhaps, you know. But it, it, you have to take everything as a whole uh, when you look at if, if the Democrats or Republicans are going to care about contesting something. And in the end, I think it would have to make a difference for them to put legal resources into it. Well, I know yesterday was a long day for you. Nicole, thanks so much for your time this morning, and we'll check back with you in about an hour. Thanks, guys. Nicole Collins, live in Washington, D.C.